Okay, can you tell us roughly uh, where he is in the monitor and grid coordinates? picture about uh, one-third of the way down from the top, growing bigger every second. picture of it now. There he's kind of centered up. That range uh, at this point uh, should be about uh, a quarter of a mile, 1,370 feet or so. Looks about right. Mm -hmm. I saw you. 
And they're getting in pretty close now. It's looking great. Well, as two roosters said, they lost a little weight. They did lose a little bit of weight with that descent stage still on the moon. Uh, the range at this point is less than a tenth of a mile. The vehicles are closing at about four feet per second. Uh, the poor quality of the television picture is due to a weak signal strength. Mm -hmm. The communications engineer here in the control center is uh, looking into it to see what can be done, uh, perhaps on the ground, to improve the signal strength. Okay. Not a bad picture, though. No, let's figure out where that's coming from. Mm. I guess we should give old Tom Stafford a pat in the back for helping us get that one on board. <laughs> it was a hard fight. That's great detail. Now, the command module is the platform at this moment. Uh, the lunar module is approaching it. Yes. And once it stops, once the... Uh, when the module stops, and it is really the, the target, and the command module is the working vehicle. There's nothing worse, of course, than having one think the other one's in charge at that point. So that decision was made a long time ago. Except those, uh... Well, Houston Antares, the station's keeping in at about 100 feet, closing in a little more for the pictures of the service module and command module. Except for Leo pointed out a while ago. Uh, We've got you on television, and it's looking beautiful. Adam Mitchell are going to give a 10-second thrust to hold the nose in to be sure that they get a lock. Yeah, that's right at, uh, after contact to make it stiffer, of course. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, we got you, Stu. Go ahead, turn around. We'll photograph you. Hey, Stu. Hey, Mr. TV off here. Stu, uh, looking at the uh, ascent stage of the lamp, it looks like there's something hanging loose from the bottom of it, a piece of uh, wire or insulation or anything. Can you comment on that? I saw that. I was going to wait until we got in a little closer. It's probably part of the uh, separation uh, plane down, sure. Yeah, we, we, we can turn on that. Turn the TV off here before I blast it into the sun on this picture round, Bruce. Roger. What that loose stuff is, is probably the uh, material that uh, is used to cut the stage from the descent stage. It's a squid pyrotechnic yeah, device, uh, like a squid like of uh, uh, dynamite in a sense. Crew was staying in the we saw those knocking. in the back of Gemini 7, and uh, we were taking pictures and wondering what those wiggly pieces of spaghetti okay. were. Yeah. And all of a sudden they said, uh, you have some too. <laughs> <laughs> that got my attention. That's, that's no problem, Bruce, because I dock in, uh, I'll go free, and uh, then I'll get all that squared away. But I'll, I'll load it in. Uh, talk about Tom Stafford, he's right in the middle okay, of the screen. <laughs>
module and Terry's. Well, we would expect to uh, get a television picture memory. back once uh, Stu Rusa has completed maneuvering uh, in the command module to the proper attitude for docking. Run briefly, and uh, then I don't want to burn out another television camera. This is uh, <clears throat> practically no motion at all, of course. The, uh, the rendezvous is complete there. Uh, surveying the... Oh, you look clean. Nice and clean, too. There you are. Surveying the service module of the land just to make one good check on it. I'll come in a little closer to save you some gas. I suspect we'll see that room uh, jumping up and down for Joe when the docking is complete, because that's the only thing we really have left to worry and about. This is Houston. When you get a chance on panel 16, would you check the ASA and AEA circuit breakers? We've lost uh, data from the AEA. Only over. Well, you say uh, it's the only thing to worry about. They're both it. <laughs> we learned in Apollo 13 we don't get too fat and happy too soon. Yes, sir. I, I shouldn't have said that. I agree with you. Know, here I am. Become a little more casual. Yeah, that ought to do it. Well, we've just been into our sixth day. Mm -hmm. yes, sir, it's just been six days since the uh, five days. We're going into the sixth day uh, launch. Uh, since, no, this is the sixth day since the launch for Sunday afternoon from Cape Kennedy at this hour, 3, 3, 3. Okay, I've, I've got the station keeping. It wasn't, though, actually, of course. It's 40 minutes later, but they've updated the clocks. Houston, what that is trailing is a little bit of that uh, foil on the bo bottom part of that uh, tank area there. Thank you, sir. It looks like during separation, the foil... Uh, that insulation got, got ripped. The other side is down tight, and uh, the side you're looking at there is uh, is uh, ripped out pretty badly. All right, you thank you, Stu, and uh, we've got another good TV picture. That's this thermal uh, blanket of uh, sort of mylar, very light uh, material that they wrap the spacecraft in. It looks like a Christmas bauble in the really well through the lunar module. Well, this could have been a problem on uh, the beginning of the mission. Of course, this probably occurred during the liftoff from the surface of the moon. Now, the crew would have seen it as well. Yeah, on the moon. There's the picture again. It's not quite as clear as the other one. We've got a bad sun bounce now, haven't we? But that's what that is. Uh, that grand circle in the center, I think, is the uh, docking probe. I'm not going to guess, but it looks like it. Yeah, it does. That's the drogue into which the probe on the command module must fit. We learned a lot about that bit of equipment and the... I was following the Sunday night's difficulty in getting those latches to work. There are three little latches on the probe that uh, click into place so for a soft dock, it's called, uh, inside the drogue. And uh, a device uh, Using those three latches, okay. pulls them in tight together, and 12 other latches actually make the hard dock. It was that pulled into the drogue that they, they couldn't get the hook on last time. Until the sixth try. That interesting thought here on Earth, we avoid trying to get vehicles to get together. Of course, low bit rate aft on the over. You want low bit rate aft on the Okay. Yeah. Okay, it's 30 mile rolls. 